guys, welcome back to another video. Um, hope you guys are having an awesome day. Um, this next race is in the Cup Series. We are going to be racing at Talladega. Now, I did qualify dead last, 40th, but you guys know I'm going to finish somewhere well up front. Somebody had to drop to the rear or something, so I, actually we started this race 39th. Anyway, let's get into it. We're live at Talladega for the thousandbulbs.com 500. The playoffs are in full swing, and for those drivers in the playoffs, a win today would clinch a spot in the next round. Which drivers will steer clear of trouble and visit victory lane? Let's go down to the track and find out. NASCAR Racing is next. I will be starting on my last row. Start alongside Daniel Suarez. I will not be finishing way back here. Drafting will be good here. Already up to 37, move up two positions. Once I suck in a draft from this field, which is right here, I'm gonna start making moves. Like right now. Two restrictor player racetracks, Talladega and Daytona. Talladega being a little wider than Daytona, you can't go exactly four wide or you'll be kind of into the wall. Here you can go four wide, five wide. A push from Paul Menard. There's that draft I'm talking about. Push from Promenade, then a draft from another car up ahead. And look already, just lot number two, and I'm up to 16. Try not to wreck William Byron here. Guys, I'm gonna go back to a race that recently happened. Uh, didn't record it. Uh, Ryan, uh, um, this came from the truck series, the Las Vegas race. I end up losing my first Las Vegas race because of these reasons. I decide to let the guy get past me, which I would have gotten back past him, but that damn Stuart Friesen, you know, he... Stuart Friesen, the 52, he nudged my bumper and nudged my bumper and wouldn't let me get the lane below him because he knew I was faster. He kept nudging me, so when you guys see the next truck race, and if I'm near Stuart Friesen, and I'm bumping and banging with him, don't just call me a dirty racer, because he raced at me pretty dirty this last truck race, and I'm going to pay him back for it. Running second, Chase Elliott. Looking to get Chase Elliott here. Congratulations in real life to Chase Elliott for winning a truck race and a cup race at Charlotte Motor Speedway about two weeks ago. We got some people with some drafts. Who is that? Ryan Newman? I need somebody with a draft because I'm starting to fall back again. Trying to clinch my spot to the round of eight here. Because I know I can win a restricted play race, but it's just a little tougher. And this car I'm in and everything. Um, 
be a little tougher. Chase Elliott sinks from the race lead. To back together, that all sinks to the race lead. And I, I'm gonna try to take the race lead right here. And I will. For the moment. Guys, I'm not gonna go into the other cameras because it is a very likely Tennessee messing up. Oh god, excuse me guys, uh yawn in there. But it's very likely to mess up in a restrictor play range chart when you're going off on different sets of cameras like that. Oh, I messed up by going in the middle. I messed up by going in the middle. Oh my god, that... Uh, oh, 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 oh. Almost lost for some control there. Now I'm going to get a push from Joe Logano in the back and Alex Bowman on the long, long side down there. I didn't have my bumper all the way in there, so I wasn't going to force it, but now I'm going to... Oh god. Now I'm gonna force it. Draft from Alex Bowman. Had a draft from Milagano. Your current top five, Alex Bowman, it is me, it's Ryan Newman, Joel Adam about to be the Matney Benedetto. Gonna battle with Alex Bowman now. Take the race lead down for a little bit. Got a little bit of a draft for one and felt it. Wobbling a little bit, wobbling a little bit. I see Joel Logano coming. Oh man, Newman. Crossing the line just like that just now, that would have been the race win for me if this was the end. Toward the end, I hope to have the lead. I'm going to try to do everything in my power to make sure I try and win here at Talladega. Man, Newman with a draft. Which pushes me up to 200 miles per hour. Fast. Some tracks they go faster. Some tracks they go at least 100 and 207 miles per hour. I think that was, uh, I think that happens at, uh, Michigan it is. Michigan is a very, very, very fast racetrack. One of my favorite tracks. The stricter play racetracks are always fast. Toward the end, I'm gonna have to start blocking and defending, jumping in this lane to that lane to this lane to that lane to try to maintain the race lead. Coming up with three to go, trying to hold on. Newman's got the momentum on the hot side, which he's gonna take the lead. He's gonna try. Apparently, I still got it, but I'm moving on wobbling all over the place. We 
got a caution that came out. So this will take us to NASCAR overtime. I will manage the race lead. This time with the restart, we're going to start with two laps to go. The race is supposed to be over this lap right here. to the fan, you see he's looking, and they, they're gonna do that, they're gonna start doing stuff like that, they're gonna start looking in different lanes, seeing where I'm gonna run. Breathing clean air for right now, but here comes Ryan Newman, I'm gonna try to stop Newman's momentum by going in his lane and getting the rolling, now I'm gonna check out a block Ty Dillon, now I gotta defend both lanes. This is going to be a little difficult. If one of these guys win that's not in the playoffs, they're just going to get a win. It's not going to like, it's not like it's going to just jump them in the playoffs. I got to hold them back as much as I can. Try not to look at my rear mirror too much, but I gotta pay attention to the rear view mirror in order to make sure I'm running the right lane so nobody gets past me. And nobody's got the speed or the momentum right now. Coming to the strike, coming to the start finish line, I'm gonna win race number 12 of the season. The 12th win of the season. And I will actually clinch my spot to the round of eight. I don't, which means I don't have to win the next two races. I'm to the good of making it to the round of eight. Then I know there's going to be some more races in the round, especially Martinsville. As soon as I win Martinsville, that's going to clinch my spot right there to the championship floor. So I know I'm going to Miami for sure. But this race right here clinches. The next round. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you won't miss any of these videos. And until then, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.